It's hot under these lights, so let's power through the review. So I watched Pray for the Devil tonight, and this movie is utter shit from beginning till end. There were so many plot holes with its story and writing. Not a lot in this movie does make sense. The ending is ridiculous to such an extreme level that it comes across as laughable um, and there's just so many questions that you have throughout the film and the film kind of it repeats itself so many times like something will happen and then somehow a few minutes after this next movement in the story we're then back to stage one and after about the midpoint of this film, the film is a repeat of itself. And it's a repeat of the scenes we have already seen just under different scenarios that, that, that happen throughout the film. And it's just like, it's not boring to say. Like boring would be an, an understatement because I would be lying if I said I did not have fun with this movie like this is an easy enough fun watch this is a movie that you can put on and you don't have to think too much and it's just there in the background maybe watch this film when you're drunk it might add a bit more entertainment factor to your experience um, but then saying that I will give credit where credit is due here. Um, the direction in this film is competently done. Um, for the most part, I was impressed with the way the film was directed. There were a few scenes that I thought the direction was a bit too over the top and it became laughably bad. There's only like a handful of scenes in the film that I can say I was laughing out loud. And I think a lot of that does come from the director since he's the one in charge of what's happening and how this story is crafted. So I think yeah, that's my only criticism on the direction of this film. I think all the acting in the film is really well done, especially by our main Actr uh, actress who played Sister Anne in the film. I really liked her character. I liked her character arc in the film. While it does get very repetitive at a point, you know, I enjoyed her character. I enjoyed her performance. Um, there, there's a lot to her character that doesn't make sense even at the end of this film when, you know, bygones have been bygones and, you know, it's you know and you know it's like you know everything's all good now the film pulls out one last fuck you to the audience one last final jump scare to send off your film with and i hate that i hate i hate i can't express this enough i hate when films do that one final scare for the audience um, it's 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 not good storytelling. It's not good directing. It's just lazy and silly to me. Like o audiences are not stupid enough. And I thought we were past that era of absent of leaving off your film with a jump scare. I thought we were past that stage in film. But no, apparently we are still stuck at that stage. And as far as the jump scares go in this film, like, you know, it's your typical PG-13 jump scares. You know, it's a loud noise. The best way I can describe this movie is it's The Nun meets The Exorcist, but a worst version of it. So, yeah, they're my thoughts on Pray for the Devil.